Today, Ayana Council, the DUI driver charged for the death of a 52-year-old woman on Highway 58 last year, has been sentenced. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Molina has the latest details. Leslie? Michael Rochelle, there were a lot of tears at today's sentencing in the Kern County Superior Court. Ayana Council, the woman responsible for a crash that killed 52-year-old Michelle Rodriguez, gave an emotional plea to the family of the victim. I don't deserve to live. An emotional scene at the Kern County Superior Courthouse, where Ayana Council was sentenced to 15 years to life in prison. Back in June of 2022, Council drove while under the influence and crashed into a car on Highway 58, killing the driver, 52-year-old Michelle Rodriguez. At her sentencing, Council apologized to the victim's family. Why should I be free, Michelle? Michelle, maybe free. Rodriguez was a school crossing guard that had recently retired. At the time of the crash, she and her husband were on their way to their new Las Vegas home. The Kern County District Attorney's Office said a blood draw revealed council's alcohol content was 0.22 percent, three times above the legal limit. This was a tragedy for them, and I don't think that they will ever obviously forget it or move past it fully, but I think that there was a lot of understanding and compassion in that courtroom in spite of everything. Council sentencing comes after she was found guilty in June of second degree murder, gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, driving under the influence of alcohol causing bodily injury, and driving in the wrong way on a divided highway causing injury or death. Before this crash, Council already had two prior DUI charges in San Mateo County and Las Vegas. But at the end of the day, the Michelle's not coming back and from that we all have to move forward from that and so there is no winner. There's nothing that makes anyone in that courtroom feel good about what happened. In California, 15 years to life in prison is an indeterminate sentencing law. This means it's a life sentence with the possibility of parole. Reporting in studio, Lessa Molina, Eyewitness News.